first time in five years, but feels like a lifetime really in Stoke City terms. We can win three on the bounce. Obviously, we've come off the back of these fantastic wins uh, against Sheffield United 10 days ago. And then we beat Preston North End on Saturday. A fantastic away victory. Brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. If you haven't already checked out the vlog for both games, they'll be in the description down below. I'm quite proud of the Preston one, so I'd appreciate it if you go and watch it. Hopefully, we can keep that momentum going on tonight. Alex Neal's mentioned in his pre-match media duties how important he feels um, just keeping this momentum going and no better way to do that with back-to-back -back home games um, that today against Rotherham and Saturday against Coventry. Tonight though it's the first time in quite a few games that we've faced someone below us. Obviously we jumped up to the 13th, we're only three points off the playoffs, the, t the table is so tight at the moment so you know if results go away in the next two two games then we could be in the playoffs come five o'clock on Saturday. It was only in the Sheffield United vlog that I was saying well try not to look over our shoulders with results going against us could be in the bottom three whatever. It's, it, the feeling is really positive and I'm feeling a win tonight. I think it's going to be 3-0 Stoke. I reckon Dwight Gale's going to get a brace with it being his birthday yesterday. He hopefully will have a, a bit of a belated birthday present in a brace. And let's go for Lewis Baker to get the other. But anyway, let's get in the ground. Come on Stoke. So team news is out. Just the one change from Saturday. Scorer Will Smallbone drops out with an injury. He's replaced by Liam Delap. Also coming back onto the bench from injury are Jacob Brown and Nick Powell. Quite crucial. We've got quite a few midweek games coming up so it's going to be good to get that quality in depth. Sam Klukas is the other player that drops out of the squad. Hopefully we can string some more wins together with these back-to-back -back home games because I think we'll be looking really good in the next couple of weeks if we can get some good momentum going. But yeah, still sticking 3-0. Come on, so. from Baker. Wilmot was the target, headed away. Berlin knocked it back to Lawrence. Lawrence now travel a little bit shot block. Traveling back to Sterling. Sterling ball in. It's going to go to the Best chance of the game, that. Fossu 
pretty much skies it from, from five yards out. Good move though. He's really with the ball on the edge of the box. He's hitting. He's oh. again. Really, really frustrating this first half of the game. Half time, 1 0 to Rotherham. Like I said at the end there, probably the word I've used to describe this half is really frustrating. We've had so many, so many chances that we just haven't been able to put them away. We had a really good one at the end. I don't know if it was Gale or Waterlap that got on the end of it. Really unlucky not to put it in. Campbell tried to go around the keeper. Had he got round, that goes in. You're probably looking at it being level, but I mean, the goal, Rotherham's goal, probably the first corner that they had. There was a flailing elbow, catches Jaggy Alka, he gets forced off for a moment. You know, we're defending that set piece with 10 men, it goes in. I think if we carry on, I think we will eventually equalise. It's just their keeper, Johansson, has been on, he's been on fire. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time when we score, but I think if we come away tonight without hitting the back of the net, I'd be very, very surprised. But yeah, let's get into the second half. Come on, Stoke. Baker, Baker has a shot, flames again. 80 minutes gone, 10 of normal time to go. He, he can throw the axe through the door now. Ball out onto the left for Thompson. Thompson ball in. How can he get into the middle? Campbell has the header. Flashes across the face of goal. Goes out for a goal kick. Will not ball across, it's going to fall to Lawrence. Lawrence couldn't get the touch, Harry Clark has a dig. That's going miles wide. Here's Thompson, ball in, looking for right, Billy, right, Billy, can he latch him onto it now? The keeper's gone down again. I think he's got the corner, yes we have. Baker has got the corner. It's going to be a nice in-swing one. Powell's had it, great save again from the keeper, it's going to be cleared. Powell giving to Rotherham. Uh, Gavin Ward steals the show. He really has. Um, a lot of his decisions very, very questionable tonight. The linesman on the near side, again, he, his, his decisions equally as questionable. We'll start off with the goal. We've covered it enough, but I mean, it's 
the decider, isn't it? Well, let's start with the bit of defending, actually, from Ben Wilmot, because it was a brilliant block. Goes out for a corner. Uh, ball comes in. Jaggy Alka gets elbowed. Uh, the player doesn't see even win the ball. Um, so Jaggy Alka has to go off because he's had treatment. And then ball comes in. They score. Jaggy Alka's not even on the pitch. Let's fast forward to, what, 75, 80 minutes. Rotherham have a man off. Drop ball. We take. Um, within two seconds of that ball being played, their man's waved back on. Um, a lot of the offsides, tight, granted, but come on. I mean, you've got Campbell who made a, a lovely run in the second half. Onside, <laughs> linesman's got his flag straight up. We'll ignore Gavin Ward now because I could go on all night about him. Um, but yeah, our performance, I thought it was good. Created some really good chances. On another night, I think we put them away. Their keeper, he was on an absolute another level. Um, I tell you what, he, he did time waste a lot though, but we probably should have come away with at least a point, let's be honest. But yeah, frustrating one. One of those nights, and I know Rotherham fans will be thoroughly enjoying this video, clip it up, whatever. Um, but I guarantee if the shoe was on the other foot, you'd be equally as uh, unamused as I am. But yeah, hopefully I'll have calmed down a little bit by Saturday um, when we face Coventry. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Go on, Stoke.